Welcome to the second video in the Tips and Tricks series for Machina Arcana. This video is about the scrolling map. Destroying monsters is a crucial part of Machina Arcana. The most common way to do this is through the use of equipped character items. But that isn't the only way. Explorers can use their environment to destroy their enemies as well. For example, explorers can activate a trap lever and kill the monsters, or hit an exploding barrel to damage any adjacent unit, or even push or pull a monster into pit spaces. But there is also another way, and it's through the use of clever movement. Only two adjacent map tiles are able to be shown, horizontally or vertically, on the grid at any time. But it is possible to explore another tile through the use of scrolling map tiles. In this video, we will show how Kim will use her movement to banish a couple of monsters. Round 1. Kim activates this adjacent event space for 3 stamina and restores 1 essence. She then uses her remaining 3 stamina to move towards the edge of the map tile. Philip will spend 2 stamina to move towards the chests, then another 3 to activate a chest. With his final stamina, he moves 1 space away. Activating chests restores 1 essence, so Philip gains 1 essence. In the spawn phase, Philip rolls a 1 and does not spawn a monster. Kim rolls the die and she spawns a monster. The Biaki is drawn from the monster deck and starts with 2 health. Biaki spawns in the map spawn space. Biaki will now use 3 stamina to move towards Kim. The monster only has 4 stamina and it needs at least 2 to attack, so Biaki will end its turn. Round 2 Kim will use 2 of her stamina to explore a new map tile. She will finish her turn on the new map tile, using 3 stamina for movement. On his turn, Philip activates the second chest for 3 stamina, restoring another essence. He will use his final 3 stamina to use his inventory. It is now the spawn phase, and Kim rolls a 9, so a monster will spawn. A monster card is drawn, and Saral appears with 2 health tokens. Saral spawns on the second map tile. Philip rolls and does not spawn a monster. It is now the monster's turn for action. Biaki will use 3 stamina to move towards Kim onto the second map tile. Saral's turn and it has 4 stamina. It moves 4 spaces towards Kim. Saral's attack costs 3 stamina, so it is unable to attack. Round 3. Kim will use all six of her stamina to move off of the second map tile, up to the two chests. Philip will spend one stamina to move towards the edge of the map tile, and will explore a new map tile for two stamina. The map tiles slide over, and a new map tile is placed. Only two horizontal map tiles may be showing at any time, so the map tiles scroll, and the leftmost tiles replaced, leaving both Biaki and Saral banished. This concludes the second tips and tricks video for Machina Arcana. Thanks for watching.